It's your boy, Mr. Handcrafted, and welcome to the I Don't Know Shit Podcast. Today we got a special guest, the Peruvian goddess, uh, Miss Miss Brittany. Yes, sir. <laughs> how are you doing? Doing good tonight. How are you? I'm all right. I can't complain. Um, Oh, can you do me a favor and kind of introduce yourself to everybody and let everybody know like who you are and like I don't know something something about yourself. Something about myself. Yes, ma'am. Oh. And uh, I seen on Instagram you went by the name Smoky Llama, and I want to know what what is, what is that about? What does that mean? Smoky Llama, Llama Mama should be Llama because you know double L's in Spanish is Ya, not La. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, they're Yamas, not Llamas. Grandma would kill me. So, so it's Yama? It's a Yama. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. a Peruvian thing. It's on the flag. They're sacred animals to us. I'm okay. it all over my body. Really? <laughs> all over. Really? Yeah. I got a, I got a Yama skull on the back. Okay. I got Peru- some on my Peruvian arms. out. Okay. Yeah, I've never much. met somebody from, like, I've never met somebody that, I don't think I... Yeah. This type of South American. And yeah, yeah, nah. I'm, like, born here, but... Of course, but, <laughs> but still. But our type of people. Yeah, was, I had to look that shit up on the map. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Small, like a little kidney bean. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, maybe tell them, like, um, like, what's your name? All right, I just said it's Brittany, but um, you did. <laughs> uh, how we met, maybe, and uh, yeah, no. we, we kind of do this thing on the podcast where we like kind of like uh, say like where our ideal place to get high would be. So. Ooh. Kind of think about that. So, like, for instance, on my ideal spot to get high, it was, like, something tropical, the beach with my chick, uh-huh. and, like, eating fruit with a bunch of beautiful women. That's nice. That sounds like a dope-ass spot to get. Sounds dope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I do that? Yeah, absolutely. So yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know how to top that. <laughs> <laughs> one, of my, one of my old so. co-hosts was, like, they wanted to get high in a bathroom. It's nice. You know what? I never even thought about it until one day my, my homeboy came out and he was like, have you ever taken a shit and like smoked, whether it's a cigarette or like yeah. weed? I was like, nah, he didn't even smoke weed. He was like, I just smoked my cigarette. It was the best feeling. He's like, you can use my bathroom, smoke a bowl, take a shit. Tell me how that feels. That's awesome. So I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna W. So like, I actually started doing it and I was standing in the bathroom and I was like kind of looking at myself, smoking. I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. It's a nice little hot uh, box, Yeah. You know? I, I mean, it's not my ideal spot, but it's definitely a cool spot to it's get a high. Cool spot. Yeah. Oh. Um, I like to be at home. I like, I mean, I like to go out places. I like to I be mean, outside. I have a 67 bug. I'd rather sit in that, not driving anywhere because, you know, you can't be driving. 67 <laughs> bug? That's kind of, that's classic. Yeah, 67 bug. That's dope. Yeah. Okay. You like cars? I like cars a little bit. I'm not like a car head. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> but a 67 bug, bro, that's a classic car. That, yeah, like, I've takes, had it since I was, like, 17. That, like, takes you back to, like, some uh, Cheech and Chong type shit. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah. Okay. But we never said, like, how we met or, oh, like... Yeah. <laughs> How we met, it was tender. Okay. Yeah. How's that? How's that? How's that experience been for it's you? It's fun. I like. It. See, I it's know. weaving in and out of the <laughs> crazy man. There's some, and then there's like, man, there's some crazy people. Honestly, you find some dope ass people. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, found yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us how. Yeah. I appreciate you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, you haven't killed me. I haven't killed you. <laughs> no, nah, no, I hope <laughs> not. Work out. We're not. <laughs> we're not <laughs> nah I ain't gonna lie so like we, uh, uh, wifey's wifey's mom is a Gemini is she? yeah she's a twin uh, I don't know you got multiple personalities but I feel like everybody does uh, you said that so you know we, because we all got little sides of ourselves but I mean like I do agree I mean like uh, so, I have part, different parts of me <laughs> I mean, I guess it's everybody just kind of embraces it. I definitely gotta. It's like how are how much aware are you of yourself? Absolutely. You know, I'm not a crazy. I mean, I'm a crazy Gemini, but I'm responsible crazy. I, I would consider myself a responsible crazy. Yeah, I have I'm, stuff to take care of. I like that. I'm gonna put that on a shirt. Responsible fur, crazy. Baby. You know, okay. they got. <laughs> I gotta I, eat. I gotta that's eat. dope. Okay, what well, do you got? Cats? I got cats. Yeah, I saw you do have a lot of cats. Yeah. What got you on cats? Uh, they're great. They're um, 
pretty to themselves. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, I came up on the two when I moved up here uh, with my partner. Okay. And uh, we got them little two, uh, Kiki and Labby. They're great cats. Okay. Um, and then I got Pam a year ago, and Pam is a calico, and they live up to their name. They're chunky little cats, and very talkative, very attentive. Really? Oh, okay. You get so much attention. She talks to me all the time. I wake up in the morning to go take a shit, and she just sits there <laughs> on the sink and just yells at me. Dude, that's crazy, bro. Cats, like, they're like, uh, I feel like they have a lot of person. They're creepy almost to me. They're I don't. Kind of. It's yeah, also not tripping. To themselves and, because I feel like the creepiness of them is like they're not like dogs. Dogs come and they're like loyal animals and they come up next yeah. to you. They're more of the physical aspect of like the attention that you're feeling. Companionship. Like, like, cats are more on the spiritual level. They have their own like thing yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. They don't need you, but kind of. Yeah. yeah. They gotta, like to clean up their litter box and feed their little faces. But That's crazy as fuck. Bro, cats cats kind of, I don't know. Depends on the cat. I mean, that's true. I met some crazy cats. Mine are weirdos, but I love them. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, I saw your Instagram, mm -hmm. and I saw that you went to one of the... How many pro... So, you went to the protest. I went to a couple. Okay. So, yeah. to give people a little background, we're from, Port our, we're from Portland, Oregon, mm -hmm. and we had, right after that George Floyd experience, that we had been... There was, like, crazy amount of protests. It was all over the news, seeing him in... Like, it was like, we made world news and shit like that. That's crazy. Um, and so, uh, I I didn't, I, I mean, I know a few, few people that went down there, but they didn't, like, post anything about, like, cops were, like, beating people up. But, like, the shit we were seeing on the news was, like... More after 11 o'clock at night. Okay, 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 okay. Because I saw, my friends told me, they're like, when 11 o'clock hits, you leave. And I was like, okay, I left. That's crazy. Because that's when no one cared. There was no regards for anything, honestly. That's crazy. Yeah. But I mean, when you really think about it, even on like a regular, like say there was no protest, like mm -hmm. that kind of that's cur ain't that like curfew or some shit like that? There's like a curfew. Well, or no, they they lifted that after a bit. I mean, what time we had to get our butts home and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like in the beginning of like you can go ahead. <laughs> nah, but, like, even though, like, but in that whole, like, thing going on, did, so you never had an encounter where there was, like, crazy police throwing people in cars and shit like that? Like, you would never... I left at, like, a certain time. See, okay. So, like, this is what happened so far <laughs> where the cops were. 11 o'clock hits, the rowdy people show up. And they start hitting the fence, and then the cops go, like, stop fucking with the fence. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Like, don't mess with the fence. Right, and then, right. like, they do it again. They're, like, lighting up fireworks. Like, boom, they're throwing stuff over. Boom. And, like, after a bit, it's, like, almost about to hit one, and my friend goes, let's go. Oh, shit. And then, because they're going to come out. And once they come out, like, that was all. That's so, basically all game. So, when we were down there, we were, uh... We were actually down there just getting some food at the food carts or whatever. And one of those, like, uh, undercover paddy wagon things, Yeah. They it hit my wife's car. So it kind of, like, I don't know, it kind of pissed me off a little bit. But uh, they they just kept rolling and shit. Like, it was... And then, like, we reported it, and they basically told us, like, <laughs> sorry about your luck. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um... When people are down there, this is, like, during the fucking height of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Like, like no, was people, were people masked up and shit like that? No, I stayed social distancing yeah, yeah, yeah. with my partner. We were just, we had space in between us and everybody else. Yeah. People did social distance. Um, people that knew each other crowded next to each other. Okay, okay. Um, but everybody respected everything. Everybody was masked. Yeah. Um, everybody was respectful. Yeah. You know, everyone stood there and told stories. Okay. You know, it was different groups around Portland that literally marched over, you know, into yeah. the downtown, and that was, like, crazy. But is there, like, a, a, a huge African-American presence down there? Oh, yeah. Was there really? Okay. <laughs> More I than what you usually see I mean, in the city. I'm from L.A., okay? Uh, okay? Like, so coming up here, you know, like, that food comes. <laughs> yeah. uh, I feel like we got a, we got some dope got, food here. You got though. dope food. No, it's delicious. Okay. Delicious. Okay. But the time that I would like to get my food, everything's closed. Okay. <laughs> like nothing really stays open. Late, not, late. 
in this like especially not now bro it's like you know you now it's like I'm yeah yeah bro <laughs> a grub hub yeah postmate something over to my pad i remember i was in chicago this one uh it was a few years ago, and I was just, it was a kind of, it was a shock to me, because I had never, like, I've been to big cities, but I've never been, like, a big city, like, alone, mm -hmm. like, and for me, I was in downtown Chicago, and it was just, like, it was just different, it was, like, more fast-paced, it seemed like, a little bit, Yeah. and uh, it was, like, your average city, it was just, like, there was homeless people, but then there was, like, graffiti everywhere, it was just, like... I don't know. It was like something you would see on, like what you see on TV is kind of like what I saw. Like okay. what the fuck? It was like shit, or whatever. So Portland for us, it's like, don't get me wrong. Portland's never been. I've always thought Portland was kind of like a nice city. It is a nice it city. Look at like good. a lot of homeless. <laughs> like but this is new though. Skateboarding down the like. Three nah, nights. bro. This shit's <laughs> new as fuck. Like the. I mean, I guess within the last. Really. Five, ten years, or something like that. Oh, wow. But hell no, nah, bro. Like, oh, okay. we never had graffiti all over the place. Home. Oh. Nah, hell no, I bro. Like nah, bro, this is new. I mean, don't get me wrong, but there was more downtown and shit like that. We always had, like, a, a decent homeless um, yeah. community. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but I went down, uh, went to this uh, school to get my GD downtown, like, new avenues for youth. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of homeless kids that went there. But a lot of people come here to be homeless just because of the opportunities and the shit that you get and that how many like see it yeah i see that that's i understood that i'm not lying when i was driving back down 405 and like i look over and i'm like is that a guy on a longboard and he's just game yeah i'm going to his destination i'm like this this is beating traffic bro this <laughs> is crazy bro like this all this shit is new bro and it, it, it's definitely a shock and it was because when I, I was looking i wasn't talking shit about chicago but it was just like bro this is this is different like, i need to take my ass back to portland <laughs> and then now it almost seems like portland is becoming like one of those yeah. bigger it's, it's not like chicago or yeah. la but it's definitely no, growing. LA is crazy but i feel like a lot of people from la are coming Lucky here yeah. and vice versa though yeah, yeah, yeah everybody i understand that like oh portland hates la and la Hates Oregon. No, I mean we don't hate. It's just different. We bro. just talk shit. So for instance, <laughs> like when I went to LA not that long ago, bro, like I was say I was going through a traffic sign. Yeah. After the red light happened, like three or four people oh, went wow. through that shit afterwards. Okay. I'm sitting here about to hit my horn, and I realize I'm the only one really bugging out. Like for me, it's just different. You know what I mean? Like people switch lanes, no signals, right. stop on you. Like no, yeah, it's crazy. Like, nigga, stop me. Nigga ain't even got no brake lights. Like, wait a minute. What? Oh. <laughs> like, what is going on, bro? But the cop pulled you over. <laughs> You're like, what the hell? That guy has no window. Bro. <laughs> it's <laughs> just. Husky just chilling. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm like, bro, it's just different. It's just different. It's different. Bro. Yeah, so. And our traffic sucks the life out of. Traffic up here is slow. I can deal with this traffic. Really? Oh, it's, it takes five years off of you down in LA. <laughs> Bro, see, I never really, I guess I'm lying. When I was coming back to the hotel from work, it was definitely, definitely traffic. But in the mornings, it was straight. It was at night trying to go home. It was like a bitch. It's fuck. coming back now. Is it? Yeah, a little bit. Like, even our traffic here is like, uh, our traffic didn't start, it started around like 5, 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. It starts at like 2, 2.30 now. So, I don't, I don't know. This is all new. Yeah. And so, for me, it's like, I don't know. I can't really. It's taking some getting used to, for sure. It is. Um, so at the protest, like, what was your overall experience, like, like as far as like the George Floyd situation and just like the whole protest, like, do you, are you supporting it? Or were you just down there to like spectate? Like, what was your like what was your overall experience? Well, I was, I think I had a great experience. I mean, you got your occasional like crazy situations. Uh, a lot of people had to endure and like witness right you know like i was i just had to leave i couldn't do it but i really liked it all the speeches that happened were great everybody yeah. coming together and telling like each story yeah, yeah. was crazy like i'm 
mixed. I mean, like, I'm born American, but right. I'm Peruvian, like, German, Mexican mix. I'm probably a lot on the Peruvian side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like we discussed, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, like, a... You got, like, a... a lot of stuff. You got, like, a... Like a... Like a... Tint to your skin. You I do. Take, I definitely. lose it up here. You can tell I get a lot darker. Really? <laughs> when summer hits, I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm dark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can definitely but tell. Yeah, once yeah. the sun goes away up here, I'm like... <laughs> Which we only get like four months of sun if we're lucky. Crazy. Eight months of rain and bullshit. Take your vitamin D. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. No joke. No uh, joke. What do you feel about the election? Like, how do you feel like the protests and the election? Like, what do you feel about it? As far as Mr. Donald J. Trump. <laughs> um, I. I mean, like, I wasn't deep into it because it just gave me a headache and drained a lot of energy out of me. I'm, like, try to focus on my work and every day something different over there. Um, but I voted for Biden. I mean, okay. to me, to me, I think the government's just corrupt all around. Absolutely. Um, so it's, it's like a lose-lose, but who's the better out of the worse? Yeah. Kind of pick. And best, of, oh, best of two evils or some shit like yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, like, Donald has run i mean like he's a businessman totally understand probably did a lot of good stuff while he was there and yeah. did a lot of like crazy other stuff yeah, 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 yeah. but um i just i can vote for him i'm a partner to vote for him like we stayed democratic i loved how the election turned out though watching all the states turn on yeah the yeah, yeah, yeah that's that was crazy that was crazy as far as uh so like the first time when Donald Trump was running against Hillary Clinton, mm -hmm. I didn't vote. Only I've only I think I've only voted one. Don't judge me. No, yeah. I'm not. I mean, like ah, I just yeah, this is my thing. Here to your no, no, no. This is my thing about <laughs> the non-voters. Okay, it's like you can't complain that much if you didn't vote. But I understand the feeling of like it doesn't matter. Like, and this is all just kind of like. It's for show. I feel like it is a for show because it's all corrupt. I, mean. I feel like. <laughs> I personally, so when I, so I just recently kind of started paying attention to politics and mm -hmm. shit like that. I kind of talked in like recent epi or past episodes, like how I kind of just learned how to think in a way. Right. <clears throat> and so like when I first started paying attention to it, I personally thought, I don't mean, I don't think Hillary, I don't really know politics like that, but I thought Donald Trump was going to, I was not, I didn't vote, but I was some in kind of support for Donald Trump first time around and let me tell you why <laughs> but I, I mean like i respect other people's opinions and their choices and why you make them i'm just i'm just saying like it wasn't i wasn't out here like at trump rallies i wasn't like telling people to vote for trump but for me it was like went in a in a in a system that's very corrupt and a man that i felt like couldn't necessarily be bought that really wasn't like for a Republican or for a Democrat, he right. came in kind of open minded mm -hmm. and he had his own shit. So it wasn't like somebody was going to be like, hey, let me drop, let me give you this. And he was going to start fucking with somebody just for some money, you know? Right. So for me, as that, I felt like that's kind of what America needed to get like a we fresh. Didn't need him. <laughs> no shit. No, now. We didn't need him. No, 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 no. Look at what happened. Look no, what happened. he done fuck some shit up. Like, You're man. absolutely right. <laughs> All right, look, so don't get me wrong. He do fuck some shit up, but I also went and found some shit that he did. I get it. All right, wife, what, what, wife is going to read a couple facts okay. that he did okay. since he's been in office four years ago. Okay, so since he's been elected, more than 7 million jobs have been added. In 2019, the unemployment rate for African Americans, Hispanic Americans, Asian Americans, veterans, individuals with disabilities, and those without a high school diploma have all reached record lows. And he signed the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act in 2017, uh, which is more than 6 million American workers received wage increases, bonuses, and increased benefits thanks to the tax cuts. What about the reform? Did they talk about the prison reform and how many, it was like, so we also had found, he had passed some uh, prison reform act and it was like 90% of the prisoners that got released were like African American. Uh -huh. And so like, those are like, like I said before, Donald Trump, I'm not a fan of Donald Trump, but I feel like for me, 
Joe Biden has been a proven racist. Like he has went to the Capitol. <laughs> yeah, but, but he just wants to dance. Not even dance. I mean, look at his his uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <come> on, dude. <laughs> I that shit fly, nigga. Don't lie. That shit no. fly as fuck. <laughs> I'm just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't feel like we like. I don't think we needed Donald Trump. I don't think he's don't been good for America at all. Biden either. Nah, we don't. And I feel like. But these are the two old guys that we gotta like pick from in order to even have like something women, you know, <laughs> woman be next to that a second. <laughs> I mean, women. I, 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 don't, I don't even know. know. <laughs> what do you mean? You said women come to second. Like, well, you... because it's like, look, Hillary running for president. Yeah. That didn't work out. And I mean, like, I was hoping. We were all hoping, but that wasn't going to work out. Maybe in a couple more terms. I mean, we. Got you don't think we are? We as America are ready for a woman president? I think we are. Okay. I'm a woman. <laughs> Not all it's, women are for that, though. I know, I know and I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, maybe they know what's up. We don't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just talking shit. Because they're right next to the guys uh, that are fucking us over. They know. Right. So for me, uh, I, what do you? Do you think Joe Biden's going to make it through these four terms, or do you think Kamala Harris is eventually going to end up taking over? I think she might take over if he, like, croaks on something. You think he's going to croak? <laughs> Someone's going to soon. It's time. Bro, they didn't look there. Well, like... Like, I heard there's a curse, I can't remember, about, like, every so often in presidency, like, a president dies. Like, Abraham Lincoln was one, and there's a certain amount of years in between each one where it happens, and we're up to that point. Or Biden's supposed to get right, off. Maybe Trump. I mean, like. I thought Obama. I thought somebody. I was thought gonna, someone was gonna take Trump. I thought somebody was gonna <laughs> take Obama. I was at least yeah. gonna attempt it. I was talking to this white dude, and they said that like through like white clans and shit like that, they was like make, taking bets on who was like gonna off him first or shit like that. Like, That's it's, crazy. It's insane. It's insane. Don't please don't people don't think like I'm a Donald Trump fan or supporter. I just feel like sometimes you have to see the nuance in different situations. And I feel like just as much as people uh, hate this man, and I feel like it becomes a, I hate what he ends up, he ended up representing, I feel like. I feel like he was like starting to play into the division that he was starting to create. Like at first, I don't think he really cared, you know what I mean? Like he wasn't, wasn't really like for it. But I think like after a certain point in time, putting on that red mega hat, that was like a, it was like putting your flag in your back pocket, you know what I mean? Right. Like, like it became that, I feel like. And he played into that, thinking it was going to win. I mean, he ended up getting 70 million votes. So, I mean, I didn't yeah, got... but did you Wait, but did you hear when he paid for, I forget which state it was, but Thank because you. they found other ballots that weren't counted. Yeah. And they ended up being provided. Yeah, it was like 100 or something <laughs> more. He <laughs> paid like $3 million to have somebody Thank do you. a recount. And and added to Biden's. 112 stuff. counts or shit like that. Yeah, I did see, ended up seeing that. Yeah. But I think the reason he might want to stay in office is because he, uh, he feels like he might end up going to prison afterwards. What do you think about that? I mean, I mean, we all saw his wife. Like smacking his hand away every time he went to go grab it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how. That's terrible. I mean, she's been by his side. This so time. I was watching this. Uh, I listened to this show called uh, Brilliant Idiots, and they're talking about how like sometimes uh, second lady or first ladies they have doubles. So I wonder what if he was trying to grab trying to grab Melania's fucking doubles hand. That bitch was like, hell no, bitch, I ain't your wife. <laughs> no, <totally. laughs> yeah, and yeah. you be one of them girls. <laughs> I mean, you never know. I mean, shit, I don't fucking know. She didn't want to do appearances. She's all like, screw this. Do you, all right, so, supposedly back in the day, Donald Trump helped support and fund the civil rights movement. Mm -hmm. Joe Biden has done the 94 crime bill, the 96 crime bill, and has also um, made laws with this racist i think he was like a, a senator and his name was strong thurman mm -hmm. from the carolinas or some shit like yeah. that and so for me it's like do you feel like because trump was a politician do you feel like the media kind of 
not manipulated it because he did cause no. a lot of division. He fuck, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I don't want to know manipulate that. Man. Yeah, you right. He just he was free balling. <laughs> yeah, you right. But yeah. I feel I I personally feel like I just don't like Joe Biden like that, bro. Like, like you can't you can't. I don't, do you think it's so possible for somebody to like be racist and then not be racist? Again. Like prejudice, like to hate somebody specifically because of the color of their skin and then one day be like, see the wrong of their doing and be like, oh, you're, you're actually a really good guy. You guys are yeah, really good people. You can do that. You think so? Yeah. I mean, and then it's adult. <clears throat> I feel like if you're... I don't know. I don't know. I've never really grown up racist. I've always been taught to be like have an open mind. So who the fuck Same. am I to like judge or whatever like that? So uh, I can't really talk about that. So in our in some of our uh, conversations, our text or whatever, I saw you like you would throw out like a little spaceship or a little alien or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think it was funny because it's like I feel I don't you don't really find most many women that would sit here and talk about like aliens and politics and shit like that like most people don't really give a fuck you know yeah and so for me it was kind of dope because i talked to a wifey about aliens and shit and she yeah. kind of just she'll listen but she don't she don't Care really get, nah bro she, she don't really give a fuck about that shit they're there <laughs> I, I don't think i don't know if she cares the least that they're there i just don't know if she gives a damn yeah i mean i think that they're i don't know i think <laughs> that they're there but then no maybe not i don't know I don't know. I'm kind of torn because now I'm between the two things. Right. All right. So let's go on. Let's go on this. Do you believe in aliens? I do. Okay. I do. I mean, in, in Peru, uh, Machu Picchu, there is a Stargate there. Like What's a star Stargate? Yeah. It's like a portal. Oh, straight up? Yeah, a portal. Yeah. So, man... Yeah. All right. So I... I, I believe... Like, how did the lava stay up there? How did they get up <laughs> the altitude, everything, like, everything that's structured, how clean, how cut it is. It's just, Why do llamas spit on people? I don't know, but I really want one as a pet. Do you really? <laughs> Alpacas are the same thing. They're smaller. Like, the compact version. What if they spit on you? I would have... train it to not to spit on other people. But, I mean, like, if you I would have upset to make that it, it spit at you, and there's some hard spits. Are they really? I watched someone spit at a guy who was flicking his nose, and that was great. <laughs> And I was like, you shouldn't do that. And he's all like, well, it's just a llama. <laughs> and then it spat right in his eye. I was like, this is the best day ever. Let's go get drinks. I would want to. I would want to shoot that thing. They would, yeah. uh, they're crazy. They're camlets. They're camels. Are they really? Yeah, they're camlets. That's their like species. Why do humans do that shit? Why can't we just leave shit alone? I don't know. Like, the great animals are packing. Peru Peruvians use them for everything. They eat them too. That's <laughs> fucked up. That's sad. Me. I haven't had any yet. It's lean but tough at the same time. Uh, you gotta cook it right for it to be tender. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Do they I, eat guinea pigs too? Oh, I've seen that on like a travel yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm like, what is his name? Andrew. Uh, or somebody yeah. like that. He was like, it's, it's, a, it's lots of bones, but it tastes good. Yeah, so he like, said it was juicy. Meats, yeah. Ugh. It's like having a little, what is but the, a little hen. But the guinea, guinea pig was kind of big though. It wasn't like one you'd find in my cage, though. You can get one big, like... I can't rabbits, get... rabbits get huge. Bro, that, guinea pig's huge. Bro, that guinea pig was big as fuck. <laughs> it's bred by Peruvians. <laughs> that shit... Like Peruvian guinea pig. I'm not gonna lie. I think I would try it, though. I would try it. I, but just I, another meat. I've had alligator crocodile. How was that? Florida when I went and visit, like, family. It was good. It's a white, flaky meat. It takes great to seasoning. <laughs> I wouldn't go out of my way to have it, but I mean, like, I've had, like, gator bites on, like, restaurants and stuff. I don't... I'm over here talking <laughs> shit. You know what's funny is in a past episode, <laughs> I was talking about how, like, I would want to cultivate the land, live off the land, and eat lizards and shit. Nigga, I was just talking shit. I ain't <laughs> eat no motherfucking lizard, bro. <laughs> no, I'm playing. If I was dying and we didn't have, like, like no stores or something, I'd... your protein and take it. See, I wouldn't mind going vegetarian. I go back and forth. I eat meat, but I, I eat a lot of veggies, and I drink a lot of water, obviously, with my gallon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I try to drink. Sometimes in, my, in the warehouse, it's like, it's easier to drink water in the warehouse when it's summer than when it's, like, cold outside. 
Because yeah. unless you're drinking like room temperature water, nigga, it's cold putting that cold ass water in your body. So for me, it's like, I don't know. I try to drink as much water as possible, so sometimes it don't work out like that. Um, so, Richard Branson. Well, if you go ahead and read this part about Richard Branson, please. Okay. Um, the whole thing? Uh, kind of say who he is, what he owns, and kind of what his takes are on aliens. Okay, so Richard Branson, who is the billionaire that owns Virgin Atlantic Airlines and founded the Space Flight Corporation Virgin Galactic, right. mm -hmm. uh, he sat down with a reporter from the Hollywood Reporter magazine and said, despite a New York Times bombshell report about Navy pilots' recordings of strange objects flying at incredible speeds, I can't understand why these UFO discussions are always behind closed doors and done in secrecy. It just creates even more suspicion. If people had really discovered a UFO, you can't keep things secret in this day and age. It would be everywhere. And so I don't think there's any credible sightings yet. It would be wonderful if it were true. It's true. But Trump wanted to release it, too. And they told him, no, society's not ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, they, they they're don't. not. That, that's why they keep coming back and checking. And they're like, are they involved no <laughs> oh you see what they're doing <laughs> but so so for me it's like this isn't like some just joe blow or some crazy reporter that might have some speculation this is a dude that owns a, a company that makes spaceships and he owns this company that makes airplanes so if he wanted to for his sunday just go up in one of his spaceships and he can so for me, it's like, how do we tell him he's lying? Because he's probably <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, he's hiding it. He's like, they're not real, but I got this. That's crazy. <laughs> you know, we built this. <laughs> That's crazy. So he also does this show called, uh, what is the show called? Shark, Shark Tank. Oh, yeah. Basically, where people come on and give him like sales pitch on different inventions or companies and shit like that and they can invest in your Shark company tank, yes. yeah he's on that show also i don't know i like people with money they inspire me they do. yeah but uh we also found another another little circuit or article about the x space x, why do you okay. case, read his exact title and read what this gentleman said um so his name is Haim Ished, I'm going to guess. Haim Ished. Haim Ished. That's what we're going with. Sorry yeah. if that's wrong. <laughs> uh, a former head of Israel's Defense Ministry Space Directorate. He sat down for an interview with an Israel newspaper and said, The unidentified flying objects have asked not to, pub not to publish that they are here. Humanity is not ready yet. Aliens were equally curious about humanity and we're seeking to understand the fabric of the universe. There is an agreement between the United States government and the aliens. They signed a contract with us to do experiments here. There is also an underground base in the depths of Mars where there are American astronauts and alien representatives. He also added that President Trump was aware of the extraterrestrial's existence and has been on the verge of revealing information but was asked not to in order to prevent mass hysteria. I mean, look at what they look at what society did with COVID. They went crazy on toilet paper. <laughs> Tell them that like aliens are really here. Like, fuck the toilet paper. I feel like people, just the way we are, especially Americans, we go crazy and start killing motherfuckers. Bro. <laughs> You're an alien. <laughs> you start fucking. It'd be like your eyes <laughs> it's like on the stone. <laughs> All right. Oh, It'd be shit. like the Salem witch oh, trials or some shit like that. Like, oh yeah, I can't wait for that. When like <laughs> half of society now is coming out like bro, Luca, that's. Like, that's so crazy, though, because, yeah. all right, so what do we do now with all these people that were coming forward talking about aliens and this, and they got thrown in, like, crazy houses and shit like that? Are they going to have to get released now? They're not going to release them. They're not going to release them. They already have them for this long. I mean, like, maybe, but they're going to be, like, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they really going to be crazy now. Mm -hmm. uh, or it oh, could yeah. be, like, oh, boy, from fucking uh, Transformers. He came out okay. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, he seemed like he's fine, bro. I mean, but for me, I kind of. 
So for me, I don't know how what to believe. I don't know if I'm supposed to read Richard Branson or I'm supposed to believe the dude from Israel. Just believe what you feel. So I was watching this uh, episode of The Breakfast Club and Prince, I think, was on there. No, was it Prince? No, it was Pharrell. It was either Pharrell or Prince. I don't know how I got those two mixed up, but it was one of them two <laughs> mother lovers. All right, so well, he was on there and he was basically, so I think he got asked if he believed in aliens. And so he basically basically explained very simply, and he was like, the sun itself is a star, right? And every sun has a solar system or something like that. So if you look in the sky, you see all these stars, and you know that each star has a solar system around it. How the fuck wouldn't there be some type of life in that solar system? And I was like, that was very well explained and very fucking simple. Mm-hmm. And it's like, for me, like that, just using that logic alone, it's yeah. like, how is there not? That's why I put a lot of shit in anybody. Push it off to the side. Oh, because it, I wonder if they were shit on there. Just, I am. All of a sudden now why it's Why is like, it not a planet? I miss Pluto. We grew up with Pluto <laughs> being a planet. Like, why isn't did you there, take it away? Yeah, isn't there like nine? Wasn't there nine with Pluto? Uh, we ain't gotta yeah, go back in there. I don't know. I don't know shit. There you go. Hey! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Uh, so, as far as as far as people not being ready for things, how do you feel about the coronavirus and the new vaccination? It's funny, Brent brought that up on my way over here. I was talking to a friend of mine because I work in the medical field, so we get tested a lot. Um, just to make sure, and yeah. I like to, just to make sure. Right. And um, they're saying how like frontline workers are possible to be forced into like getting the vaccination. Yeah, and so some of the medical assistants were talking about it. And, um, and she was saying she wanted to do it because her husband is diabetic and she wants to make sure that she doesn't get it. and. My whole thing is, I mean, like, you make your own decisions. I wouldn't be the first one to get it, you yeah. know? That's just me. But at the same time, it, like, it's like those thoughts of, like, it's like the flu shot. They're injecting you with it. And the side effect of that shot is you getting it really bad. Right. Like, really bad. To where you don't want to go get the second shot because you have to get multiple shots. It's not just one. You know? It's probably going to be a little series, maybe a couple, maybe more. Who knows? I go, but she was just like, she was debating it. I was like, as your friend, I respect you, but please don't be the first one. <laughs> right? <laughs> please Absolutely. Please don't, that's all. I was like, you know, it's like buying a, I was, I was telling her, I go, look, it's like, like buying a new PlayStation 5 or like yeah. fucking new Xbox, you know, like. That bitch got glitches. glitches. Bro, you know? absolutely. That bitch is going to be glitchy. Lined up in fires, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know. I can't, like, I mean. If they have to do it, they have to do it. But yeah. I'm gonna sign that paper saying like, uh, I don't want to take the vaccination due to the possible side effects and. Okay. You know. I was thinking about so like with with the vaccine. So like, say you get the flu vaccine right. every year. You see, go get your flu vaccine, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. And supposedly the reason you have to keep getting more flu shots is because. The, the the virus itself is different every year. Mm-hmm. You know, like manipulates or some shit like that and yeah. finds a way, a new way to fucking affect the body or whatever. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, is with the vaccine, is corona still never going to be over? Is it just going to keep on mutating It'll itself? It'll keep on mutating, just like the flu, because it's like a mutation of the flu, well, isn't it? Like, I mean, yeah. it's just a, like a crazier form, just like... Coronavirus is the 19th, I think, Ooh. virus of... No, no, no. So basically, the re- coronavirus has been for around forever. Right. Like, if you look at Lysol or mm-hmm. like cleaning wipes, it says it kills coronavirus. Mm-hmm. So like, this isn't the first thing that they know of coronavirus. So for me, it just kind of makes it scary because it's like, this thing's never really going away. No, it's just how are we going to contain it? And I feel like America's going to see it. And so we're going to be in this, like, shithole for a good minute. And you know what's crazy it's is we... It's not going to stop anytime soon. We always talk about other countries and how, like, underdeveloped they are or 
your lack of this and that and it's like they're already in their second wave without america even knowing like it's just no one talks about anything the news wanted you to watch the election the news wanted you to watch like all the bs stuff coming up and no one's really paying attention to anything else yeah you know which sucks well i so uh, i'm in the room with two women so i have a question um okay uh, watch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, for as far as like things being in jail, so like the reason I feel like people are, so there's tons of reason for people not to really fuck with vaccines. Right. Um, there's a there's this thing called the Tuskegee experiment, and it's basically where the government was injecting syphilis into black people, mm-hmm. and basically not really giving them any type of uh, cure for it. Mm-hmm. And eventually when they found out that I think penicillin cured syphilis, mm-hmm. I think they still didn't go back and try to help the people that, I don't know. But eventually, I mean, Bill Clinton ended up apologizing by the yeah. time he ended up, <laughs> by the time he ended up, and they did that shit for 40 years. Yeah. They did that shit from like 1934 to 1972 or something like that. Yeah, and it wasn't until, and so by the time Bill Clinton finally apologized, um, I'm not sure what year it was, but basically only eight people were still living from that. And he did that shit for 40 years, and it's like, for me, it's just like that. I know that's one reason that a lot of black people or people in general don't really fuck with uh, vaccines. Mm -hmm. And so for me, um, a lot of women go and they get like birth control, they get like a depo shot or some shit like that. Uh-huh. What, what, like, say there's a commercial for a new depo shot or a new it's shot. A you know what I mean? So, like, it's what? Like they're now putting actual, like, the color red in the, like, pad commercials now. <laughs> It's like, yeah, because we weren't, no one's believing blue. We're not aliens. Like, <laughs> some are, but the rest of society is not. <laughs> like, so for me, it's just like what what what's the, what's the, what, what's the uh, that bitch is bad. Dude, bad. <laughs> sorry, we're way off topic. I'm sorry, yeah, I know. I know. Um, what what what's the difference? Like, what would be the difference of somebody coming forward? So is it is it? I think it might. I just think I thought of my own answer. It's probably this, the the fact that the CDC is supposed to be like a vaccination thing, and they're the ones that are causing autism and kids giving them the MMR vaccine and mm-hmm. like there's a bunch of shit that the CDC is supposed to be help trying to prevent I feel like they're causing a lot of it of course but I didn't know that shit like, but is it though it's just it's making it's just making like kids have down syndrome and shit I mean you're not really contr- really controlling shit you're just affecting a certain population and for me I I, I I always ask random white people, like, why the fuck do people hate black people so much? And no one ever has an answer. And I, one day I hope I get my answer. I don't get I it. Hope. I want to hear why. I mean, we were having the discussion of, yeah. like, why do, like, do why? Latins mess with blacks? And I was like, well, yeah, I mean, like, my people are mixed. We got Afro Latin. <laughs> but but Afro Latin, that, that, for me, that's a new thing, though. It, look at the Peruvian national soccer team. <sighs> Are they? Oh, they're, yeah. And they look kind of like, because we're mixed with, like, Chinese, Japanese, and then you got, like, Afro-Latins, and then that, like, branches off, like. Then we got the indigenous, which is, like, the Incans. That's our, like, Native Americans. It's crazy. We're, like, we're looking. So, like. (laughs) I love it. (laughs) I, so I was reading that some of the first settlers that in Mexico or in Latin America were, like, they're from Africa. We all, it all comes back. I haven't taken that. I heard that on one of your other podcasts that you took the like swab or the yeah, little yeah, yeah, yeah. I have one at home. I haven't sent mine in yet. I'm gonna open you it. You should up and, like, fucking do it. Do it. And my parents are like, I want you to do it because of like our line and see how much of like each side you have because yeah. my features are kind of crazy. Like, if I took my hair down right now and I started brushing it, best believe it's gonna stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. For for me, I've always been told like my dad was like Cherokee or Native yeah. or shit like that. Like, and supposedly like only eight eight percent of the Middle Passage, mm-hmm. the the 
the trade where people were coming from Africa to here, only 8% of them came here, supposedly. So that means they went everywhere else, like Brazil, mm -hmm. fucking Haiti, Puerto Rico, all over there. But, like, even, like, from what I was told, Puerto Rico and Haiti, aren't they, don't, they share the same island, don't they? One's on one side, one's on the other. <laughs> Geography, I don't either. Location. But it just seems like in a lot of races, uh, especially like the Hispanic culture, I don't fucking know. But there's like colorism. The dark there you is. are. Oh, it's there like is. The, cause even like in the, the different types of Latins, they're different like... Like, people say don't fuck with, like, Salvadorians. Don't, <laughs> you know. I got a homie named Hector. Them, that's yeah. a Salvadorian. I think it's a gangster, bro. I love it. See, that's not because they're hard. I love them. I love you guys. I'm just saying, you I know, I respect. Gangster, bro. You know, that side, that magic. I respect that. Uh, that that's you know. funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> that's yeah. fucking funny bro like um, it, it's, it's like, like it's just it's just the way you grow up right like your parents go like you hear stuff and then you see from your own experiences from each like race different genders or whatever you identify yourself as yeah you know but Even, I think we do I think we all fucks with each other up to a point and then we all make our like stupid little <laughs> I used to like I always fucked with like the Hispanics like I, I I love, I mean, like, the, I, I got excluded, you guys got excluded, like, I, when everyone experienced stuff, like, look, I don't know why. <laughs> I, see, I don't It's mean, like the different Asians. It's like, they call the Filipinos, like, the Mexicans. <laughs> yeah, but, like, even, like, on, like, so, let's, like, let's do, like, a, a, a movie, like, a, an American Me, mm -hmm. even, like, this TV show called, um, Snowfall, but that was more like business and drug dealing. Like niggas. Was okay, did you ever see Inferno? It was like uh, a, it was a movie. Okay, it was about uh, this is. We get excited when Peruvian stuff comes out, okay. but like sometimes you're like, damn, really? That's what you went with? <laughs> and it was, it was about a tribe that was cannibals or cannibalism. And oh it was, shit! I forget who. I think it was like Eli Roth or someone. I forget who made the movie, but it was great it was gory as hell but i was just like the whole time i was like super excited to be like hey have you seen that movie inferno you know it's about yeah, Peru, yeah, yeah. you know the amazon forest you know and it's about this tribe and it's like what about the tribe they ate the people yeah. <laughs> and it was intense i was holding a breath you know the whole time it was great that shit was crazy uh so like i was what i can kind of relate because i was watching this show uh me and wifey were just chilling we were watching the movie and it was uh it was tarzan but it was like the real movie and like there was a scene and there was a scene where they pulled up to the Congo uh -huh. and like it was these, these white, I think British dudes pulled up to the Congo on this boat and like they had these guns and shit and they ended up shooting one of the like tribal dudes and they started jumping off from the water and shit. They started yeah. fucking them up. And I was like, yeah, you white. I don't know. I, I don't know. I went crazy, man. I was like. Brandon Fraser one though. I'm not. I don't. I'm, I don't even care. I'm not. I'm not sure what it was, but I was like, "Yeah, you gonna roll up on us like that? You got shit fucked up." Like I was yelling at the TV and shit, and it, it wasn't until that was at, like right after I found out I was Congolese. So it was like Congo, and it was like I don't know. It just it made me feel like I had some attachment to that shit. Right. So right. It, it was dope. It was really really yeah. dope. And. But what if you go and you do your ancestry and you find out you're not or you're something else or is that going to fuck with you? No, because I think like it's nice to know like where the stuff is because when you go down your own, depending, I mean, this is just me, it only goes up to like a point, you know, because yeah. my father, his parents, they came from Lima, Peru. My yeah. mom was born in America, okay. you know, and yeah. her mom was German. Okay. And then her dad was Mexican. He was Cherokee. So that's why they want to see where the the indigenous part lies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. how much of that is really in there. Why it's just like it's crazy. Why if he thought she was half? She only like thirty five percent. Oh. Telling everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we can They're take. Like, we we go, we can take that out. <laughs> she, was she? No lie. When she found out. She almost like cried. She was, I was so. She was, I was like that, and I was like, I mean, like they already have our like DNA everywhere for like doctors and stuff. I'm almost getting something. No lie, I I thought they come at me like, hey, you got great DNA. We gonna fuck with you. Yeah, bro. That's sorry, cool. eleven. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> but no lie. So like after you send it in, you'll get like your original results. But then like a couple weeks or something later, slap you in the face and put you. On. They, yeah, they they they. So it ended up it like some things combined and shit like that. Like so when I first did my test, it said like I was fifteen percent Congolese. Okay. Then it was like ten percent Bantu people or something like that. Mm -hmm. But I went back and checked, and it had Congolese and Bantu people as like one category. And it made it was like now it says like I'm 35 percent or some shit like that, oh. and I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I feel like they're learning too of what like each race and where yeah, everything yeah, yeah, lies yeah. and that DNA because there's always something new that's discovered that might be tied to it that they can add to it. But they also like I don't know how much I'm trusting it because it says like people that are like my aunts that are like my 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 mom's sister. It mm -hmm. says it's like my third cousin. It's just the way, I never understood that when people go like, oh, who is that? That's my primo, that's my cousin. And they're like, is that your first? I go like, oh, that's the closest one. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, that would be one. I'm cool with him. I mean, like two, you know, and that's five. <laughs> He's cool. He's still there because, again, we're family, but it's just like. So I, I don't really know how that works either, but I think the way it goes is like, so if it's your. Your parents and it, siblings. So if it's your parents' sibling, that would be your first cousin. Right. And then after that, it's like Cous your... Their cousin? Their, yes. Okay. Their cousin will be your second cousin or okay, some yeah. shit like that. And then it kind of like... From there. It's, it sounds like a lot. Let the ancestry like... <laughs> <laughs> That's why we sit in swap and yeah. fucking do it They far. fucking still didn't get that shit right, though. No, so. because they don't... For, no one knows. But um, <laughs> to... To kind of wrap things up, I kind of wanted to explain, like, um, vaccines, I don't necessarily know if if they're bad or if they're good. Mm -hmm. I've, I've gotten all my vaccines since I was a child, and I mean, kind of fucked up in the head, but other than that, I think I'm okay. Right. My kids have gotten, like, the vaccines. Mm -hmm. um, they seem okay. Uh, but one of my, my youngest kids, for a while, he couldn't hear, and so his, his speech got messed up, but... We're working on that mm -hmm. but as far as like vaccines um i've never really like paid attention until recently to be honest mm -hmm. but there's a bunch of different facts that i wanted to read out just to give on why people especially people of color might not really fuck with the idea of vaccines and vaccinations okay. go ahead Ella. uh so it says black boys receiving the mmr vaccine it causes autism in August 2014, a CDC senior vaccine safety scientist issued a press release stating, I regret that my co-authors and I omitted statistically significant information in an article for the journal Pediatrics. The omitted data suggested that African American males who received the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine before age 36 months were at increased risk for autism. I think that's crazy, and I was also told that like uh, there's never been a vaccine uh, a vaccine that has prevented anything or some shit like that. Uh -huh. like, like vaccines are not proven to work; they're proven not to work. They're all proven to have some type of side effect. Right. Also, go ahead and read the uh, the. I'm gonna give the facts on the 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 ski experiment. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so. In 1972, a government whistleblower, Peter Buxton, told a reporter that for the previous 40 years, beginning in 1932, the CDC and the U.S. Public Health Service conducted the so-called Tuskegee Experiment. Tuskegee, sorry. Tuskegee? <laughs> Tuskegee, it's like the Tuskegee, Tuskegee. Air, Tuskegee. Like, the, like the airplanes. Tuskegee. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so-called the Tuskegee experiment to study the progression of untreated syphilis in impoverished African-American men in rural Alabama. According to the CDC, which took over the study in the early 1960s, none of 299 syphilitic, syphilitic sharecroppers were ever told they had the disease. The CDC purposely withheld penicillin from the men and lobbied against their recruitment by the U.S. Army, which had which would have given them mandatory syphilis treatment. The agency actively prevented participants from accessing syphilis treatment programs elsewhere. C 
CDC's victims in that study included numerous men who died of syphilis, 40 wives who contracted the disease, and 19 children born with congenital syphilis. The only reason the experiment stopped 40 years later was because the reporter's article made front page news of the New York Times. That's crazy. And that was like 1972, so that wasn't even oh, okay. that Okay, we'll stop since it just passed. Yeah, bro. So there's like, there was, so for me, it's like if they, if they didn't do that, they'd probably still keep mm-hmm. going. For me, you know they would. for me, it's like, what is people's issue with black people? Like, what the fuck did we do, bro? I got, I probably, it all comes back, like, and so, okay, like, our bloodline. It's always going to come back to that. Yeah. And they're afraid of it. They're, I mean, like, there's an argument that white's the mutation. <laughs> what is that, white's the mutation? Like, they haven't been around long enough. So we looked this up the other night, and I seen it. It was said on Vlad TV. Mm-hmm. Where white people are only 4,500 years old. As where black people are 7 million years old. Bro. Can you imagine? They came seven, and fucked it all up. <laughs> And oh, that, yeah. I also and said like, that. Look at the culture that we have. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god, look at those savages. But you just, you just raped and took everything that was theirs. Bro. And you turned them against uh, each other, and then you gave them diseases. Bro. <laughs> oh. Like, all What's this shit is on? new. Like, the diseases and all this shit is new. So, like, for me, it's like, how does something come and ruin something that's so old? They're just confused. <laughs> For me, I feel like... Uh, Always remember, they didn't know how to bathe themselves. Right? Oh, Who taught them how to bathe? I'm not saying all we white people are savages. It's not what we're saying. Right no, now. no. But not I'm not just saying... Not at all. I'm an ex-American. I'm born here. Right, but... I, I feel like sometimes <laughs> you have to, like, throw that out there. You motherfuckers are trying oh, no, to twist your words. Look, it's I, all love here. Yeah. It's all talk. We're just having a conversation. Yeah, we got a lot of... Uh, this is... Definitely a lot of sensitive people in this world. Yeah, definitely. Especially in this day and age. Oh, so. yes. <laughs> that sensitivity level is just going to get right up in here next year. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like, when yeah. Biden, yeah. I'm just saying. Hey, I have noticed that there ain't that as many, many Trump flags. Like, why, why, why do you think the Trump flags came down? Like, I mean. Because they can't um, go and, yeah, they were, it was so bad. They weren't even staying in, like, the area that they needed to and, like, fight with each other. They were literally going outside of the cities into residential homes, like, smashing people, like, windows in. And it's just like, what the hell? There's a guy that bought a bulldozer. There's a guy that fucking bought a bulldozer, I think it was in Florida, to run over people's fucking uh, sides in their front yard. L.A. was up in flames. Yeah, like, they were like... like trash cans are fire, the whole streets were they weren't social distancing LA said I love you and that y'all, y'all. that whole get together and their march and their protest was was great. Y'all a different breed in LA man. We are man. Y'all it's really different. passive aggressive up here. <laughs> just saying Niggas don't want no smoke, smoke but they take some smoke. No, I don't get it. And we're just kinda of like in your face like dude What's up? And we're aggressive. Uh, yeah. It's like, I'm just trying to get it blunt, get it out there, stop being uh, passive. Okay? That's, Tell me you don't like me. It's funny, like, <laughs> the people that you least expect to be with you up here. Like, yeah. But, I mean, I guess that's everywhere, though, too, though. It's everywhere. It's how LA became it, what it is, and it's growing. Uh, is LA's still very segregated, though, isn't it? Yeah, you still got your, yeah, I know where to go get my tacos. <laughs> yeah, bro. I know where to go in the alleyways to go get my, like, alone on the disco. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I know where to go to, like, Chinatown, so good food. I mean, Italian district, or Portland is definitely gentrified, like, yeah. the, where where it's considered, like, the nice neighborhoods. Or mm-hmm. you, oh, it's a different or, kind of, like, home, that homeless piss up here, it smells nice. <laughs> LA is, a di- is different, a little more potent. <laughs> when I first went up there, my girl, we were just like, you smell that? And she's like, I go, do you smell that? And she's like, no. And I was like, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it smells like pee, but that's not clean pee. Uh, yeah. We got like some, fr- we have fresh air up here. And all, and all the strip clubs. <laughs> Bro, we have a strip club on like almost every corner. Yeah, that's what the, the city thrived on back then. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that shit comes back to life. We had a nice, decent little nightlife for a while. But I haven't gone up here yet. No. I've only been to one strip club, and it was in Florida. 
Really? Yeah, and I had a stripper give me money so she can give me a dance because there was three creepy guys I wanted a dance her. for her. And then, you know, once they grab you, they got to take you. You know, she can't, even if she's about to be off, that it's like, you got to, like, yeah. go with the client. And yeah. she was all like, I just, I go, I'm not, I don't have anything. And my cousins are like, yeah, prima, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kind of like, all sweet, like, like, a little gentle woman, you know. I'm just kind of like, girl, like, she's like, no, I just want to, she's all here, here's some money. And I was just like, all night, she's like, can you just walk me into the back so I can just get to the locker room and go home? I'm like, sure. Walked her back there. I give her money. I don't need money. Like, you just danced all night. You, this is yours. <laughs> Shit. Please take it. You have a great night. <laughs> I'm happy I can save a woman for an evening. Love me you know? my money. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> it was a great money. first time and only experience, I guess, in the strip club. <laughs> I ain't never had no shit like that. I'm a nigga very lucky to get a dance in that bitch. Dude, it's great watching them, like, clean the pole. And then, like, <laughs> next girl comes. You just see why you, why are you over here? It was so funny, like, I feel like people feel like I, like, drag her there and shit like that, and, like, this one time I was, like, I was, we were with her cousin, and her cousin's boyfriend, and we were at the strip club, and I was like, alright, let's go, or whatever, she's like, no, she's like, they don't fucking fit, and it was funny to have her fucking cousin see that, cause it's not me, I promise, it's her, they think I corrupt her, but it's her, I promise, it's not me, I promise. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. It's definitely her, bro, on everything. I can't. Men don't run shit. I mean. Thank you. There. Thank you. All right. And then you got your little. Thank you guys for coming out. <laughs> Good night. Just... Great conversation. Nah, but real shit, though. Uh, yeah. I appreciate you for coming out, man. Thanks for having me. Nah, this is yeah. a dope ass conversation. Hopefully, you come back. I will. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, thank you guys for coming out and. Uh, listening to the a new episode if you guys we haven't done an f and x shout out in a minute bro we gonna lose our little thank oh. you wifey for all <laughs> stuff no problem <laughs> yeah absolutely uh you are i don't have my paper i don't know that shit if you're looking for f if you're looking for a blah blah, blah. If you're looking for fitness apparel workout apparel uh, creatine, creatine workout club workout. go check out the link in our link tree fit. there you go hey yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you <see> <laughs> <laughs> alright we see y'all later